Okay, let's go with the good old first Star Wars movie uh, that was ever made. Not episode one, but the first Star Wars movie ever made, episode four, A New Hope. Where would we put it? I would put it... Oh, uh, I would put it... It's the original one. Yeah. Excuse me. Yeah, you have to put it in Grandmaster. It's like, a classic what else? tale. Introduces Darth Vader. We got a cool villain in um, Grand Moff Tarkin. Uh, yeah. You know, introduces Han Solo and Princess Leia and Luke and all that. And it's it's the it is the thing that started this this whole train of uh, yeah. Star Wars. Uh, well, that is also. It was a, I don't know, it's a good underdog story because, like, when the first Star Wars movie came out, like, people, it wasn't supposed to be successful. Like, a lot of people did not believe in it. Like, I think Mark Hamill in, in an interview at some point said that, like, he was literally sharing the script with everybody because he's like, I didn't think this was going to be important. But then, <laughs> but then, like, yeah, it comes out and all of a sudden it's, it's like the hottest thing. Wasn't at the time the highest grossing movie of all time? When it, when it released? Uh, it might have been. It definitely, like, I know it's 100% dethroned now, but, like... Yeah. It could have been at that time, because, yeah, it, it was just one of those things where not high expectations, and then it came out, and then next thing you know, it, uh... It came out in 1977. What would be the... Yeah. Uh, highest... I don't know, whatever. Do you want to... Yeah, so I don't know. That's that's why I see it. Is that like the fact that like it was one of like the hottest pop culture just symbols now is kind of incredible. So yeah, it goes right along. Yeah, it is the one of the leading things of pop culture uh, yeah. of all time. Okay, uh, I guess we're pretty universally in agreement there yeah. right now. Um, so but so again, I just want to reiterate. We have no idea what this one is. I can't tell I what it is. I've never seen that before. I've never, I, I've never seen this before. I know it's like B, is it, that's BB-8, but I, I don't know anything else about this. Yeah, I like, wouldn't, I wouldn't worry about that. I've never heard of this in my life, but I have seen every other one of these. Yeah. Um, you haven't yeah. seen Rebels. For the viewers at home, Nick is going to have to kind of be the guy that like decides some of the TV shows. Yeah, it's I like... haven't really seen Clone Wars or Rebels. I've heard good things, so I probably won't really argue with where he puts them. But yeah, that's going to be that's going to be more of a Nick thing than me, so Okay. Um so what's next? It is Star Wars Episode 2, which oh. this one is my least favorite of the six. I'm not talking about the sequels. We'll get there. Yeah. Um but it's pretty bad. It's, my, it's pretty bad. It is... The only redeemable factor of it is, like, the last, what, like, 10, 15, 20 minutes, whatever it is. Yeah. Um, I think Count Dooku is great in it. It has... Christopher it, Lee, I, like... Yeah. Uh, Count Dooku in it. Obi-Wan was literally the only thing that carried this movie uh, beyond that the final part, act. The thing that made me really... And then Yoda battle, it. too. I think that made me really disappointed with it is that I th honestly it was just it was so underwhelming because they had so many things that like could have been really good yeah and then it was just like George Lucas forgot how to like make the movie because the thing is like I I also like the Django Fett Bo like I do like that it was kind of like the like little easter egg of like that's how Boba Fett becomes who he is but again that's in like the last 10 to 15 good minutes of this entire movie or like whatever but yeah, i did like just, the Django fett stuff yes yeah it was good but it, unfortunately yeah it was just there was just so many overwhelmingly terrible things about it that like it took away from even the coolness of the origin story for clones like and the just, love yeah. story in it was so cheesy and it was boring i do like yeah I haven't watched this movie in a long time, and I don't know if I'll ever watch it again unless I have like kids, yeah. and then I'll watch it the the whole series with them. Yeah, um, yeah, exactly. Like it's just it's not a very redeemable movie. Are you okay in Padawan? Because I oh, want to yeah. save I want to save Youngling for two movies. 
which we'll get to. <laughs> and I, I think I, I you you you, you have no idea. Yeah. You you have an idea. I think at least I'm one of them, but we'll uh, see where we go. Um, so, and I think maybe you audience will have an idea for a couple of them. Uh, but Rebels. Uh, so this is going to be primarily me. Now yeah. I actually really enjoyed Rebels, especially later on. So yeah, just spoilers for all of these, all of these, like including Mandalorian, yeah. uh, the newest Star Wars movie, a uh, big budget movie, Rebels, etc. So if you don't yeah. want any spoilers, uh, don't watch this. Yeah. Okay. Now that we got that out of the way, um, <laughs> Rebels, I would probably put here, in uh, in Master. I could not justify it being any higher than that because uh, it did have some kind of not l really low moments but like more boring moments but the the scenes in it with darth vader and then you had ahsoka versus darth vader and later on when they truced grand admiral thrawn uh like he like that was sick and later seasons were a lot more mature than the the previous ones like it started out as really kid friendly and then got more mature right. and then especially with grand animal thrawn being such a threat uh for for everyone because do you know do you know anything about grand animal thrawn i've heard little about him so he's uh the 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 blue skin guy with like the red eyes and he's right. a fucking genius like he's arguably probably the smartest star wars character like that's what makes him so dangerous and i'm a huge fucking fan of like the mastermind the strategist the smart characters right i like seeing right. characters think really smart and playing like almost like a chess game with each other of sorts right. and grad yeah, admiral thrawn is like he was yeah. in Star Wars lore, but then, you know, Disney got rid of that lore, so Grand Animal Thrawn became not officially part of the lore, but then Star Wars Rebels officially introduced Thrawn into Star Wars. Right. And for that sake, it has to, it has to be mastered. Yeah. I, again, I can't justify it any higher than that, and I can't see it being any lower than it, because I, I did enjoy yeah. it throughout... It. Like again, there's some boring episodes and moments, but there's like some fantastic stuff. And like it wasn't like boring enough that it would make you stop watching. Like you could keep right. You could keep watching it. Uh, so anyway, right. that's mine there. So Return of the Jedi. So this now is, this, this is, is episode six. Episode six, and this is gonna be a hot take for me now. I know a lot of people complain about a lot of stuff in this one. But I really like this one, and I remember as a kid, this was my probably my favorite Star Wars movie as a kid. It's not. Uh, it was between this and another one, which I think everyone if it's, it's everyone's other favorite yeah. Star Wars movie, which we'll get to. No, uh, I have to agree. I'm I'm a big fan of Return of the Jedi. I, I, I would probably put it here. It. Yeah, because for sure, I would like put it in this one faster. is great for the start of it and stuff like that. But then this one just seen where like Luke becomes uh, what, like the the Jedi that he is, you know, um, Yoda's final was... final final farewell, Darth Vader's redemption. Um, it was the perfect conclusion until they decided to extend the universe, basically. Yeah, that's, we'll we'll get into that. <laughs> we'll get into that later. Um, but that no, that's quickly. That's the way that I see it. Is that like yeah, I I think it was just it was the perfect. Yeah, they just they wrapped it up so succinctly in that movie, and yeah, that's the best way to put it. So not too much argument there about putting it in grand bass. The Palpatine stuff, like the Ewok stuff, can yeah. be honestly a little annoying. So I can definitely downgrade it a bit. Uh, I I would agree, but I don't think it takes it that far from it. And like the battle scenes in it were really cool. You know, well, like Lando, say, yeah, the like... Millennium Falcon, like all that stuff is. Well, I think like the Ewoks for me made the Endor battle scenes just like even more in I don't know, just like more interesting because like it was a different element. I don't know, just like a different style of fighting and stuff that they had that kind of I don't know, it just adds to it. So yeah, either way, like I said, I can't disagree with this. All right, Star Wars Episode Three. Now this is gonna be another hot take, I think, because here's the thing: 
Yeah. For, but I, I recently watched this, like, I want to say, what, two weeks ago? Uh, something yeah, like that. Tell me that. Um, and before then, I probably would have put this here as my second. Because yeah. the, the other Star Wars movie that is, uh, you know what, fuck it, before we... Uh, yeah. Before we actually get it, I'm just gonna fucking get get that out of the way. Empire Strikes yeah. Back yeah. is the yeah. best Star Wars movie Without ever any, made. No. I don't think yeah. too many people are gonna disagree with that. St- like yeah, Darth Vader in this one is such a badass. I think this is the yeah. movie that really solidifies Star like Darth yeah. Vader as the the uh, one of the most recognizable characters in pop oh, culture yeah. history ever. And, um, you have the iconic scene where you know, like Luke, Luke you know, Darth Vader's his dad, I like his whole thing, right? I'm your father. Yeah, like it's, it, yeah, exactly. It's it's probably the most like, like recognizable one for sure. And again, the funny thing with it is that it was, at first, not a lot of people liked it because like they felt like there was too much of a cliffhanger. But that's why I'm glad Return of the Jedi is up there because like it was one of those things where like Empire Strikes Back at first people were like, oh, that wasn't great. But then it was like once they saw the resolution, they were like, "Oh, this is actually like one of the best Star Wars movies ever because it's it's the climax of everything." So it's yeah, yeah. I can't even argue with yeah. Episode five, just top tier, a hundred percent. Okay, so now that I got back that got that out of the way, yeah. uh, back to episode three. <laughs> uh, so again, before I would have put this yeah. here, but I recently watched it yeah. and. I learned, like a part of it was just all the fucking memes from this movie, <laughs> kind of just ruined a lot of the tension for yeah. me. Yeah. And then yeah, so that makes it probably that alone would probably drop it here or here probably. Uh, but what drops it even further down for me is when I watched it, just the fucking dialogue was so like off putting. Yeah. A, a lot of the times and. But then, of course, what's the other, like, General Grievous is a fucking great villain. Count Dooku is good in it. The whole fucking plot with the clones is fucking yeah. sick. Like, here's the thing. The plot of Episode 3 is easily here. Yeah. Easily. The plot. Oh, great. Plot. But what takes it down for me is just the dialogue and other stuff. Like, Obi-Wan, like, yeah. again, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Ian McGregor kills it as Obi-Wan. He's, he is Obi-Wan Kenobi. It's like, it's like, yeah. uh, Robert Downey Jr. is Iron Man, is Tony Stark. It's like, that's another one yeah. of those characters. Um, so just for the dialogue and stuff, I have to put in council member. No, yeah, me. like, I, yeah, I just have to agree with that. Yeah, it was, it was, it was definitely the best of the prequels. Uh, really kind of like pivotal turning point in the Star Wars universe that like they did a good job that like bridging the gap but yeah unfortunately just not great writing and like just even not great directing because again like the actors weren't bad but like at some points they didn't really know like what they were supposed to be doing or like how they're supposed to deliver lines yeah it, it, unfortunately it gets knocked down just one tier but yeah easily for me one of the better prequels well, the best prequel actually so, right no i would i would agree 100 percent. like the the whole like the, the the clone wars battles with the droids yeah. and stuff like the soundtrack everything is phenomenal again it's just the dialogue and the fucking <laughs> the memes yeah that lowered it like nothing wrong with the memes just like having memes for a show and stuff yeah it's just there's there's just so many of them and I'm a big it's fan. Yeah, I don't know. It, just, yeah. it, threw, it threw me out of it, which is weird because like it, I, like Lord of the Rings has a lot of memes with its yeah. dialogue too. But like its dialogue is written better, so it doesn't throw you out of it. Yeah. I'd be like, yeah, that line was in a meme, but it doesn't throw me out of like the tension of the moment or like yeah. what you're supposed to be feeling in the moment, right? Uh, whereas yeah. this one does, in my opinion, anyway. Yeah. So that's the biggest reason. I know I talked talked a lot of shit about it, but I do like the plot of this movie. Yeah. And then of course the battle, the the the, the epic like the no ifs ands or bits buts the best lightsaber battle ever in any Star Wars movie. Yeah. I would easy. say uh, between Obi Wan and uh, Anakin slash Darth Vader. 
Well, it was the true like the master versus Padawan kind of, thing, right? Yeah. So, right. So it was heartbreaking. Is... As Rogue yeah. One, and out of the Disney made movies, this one's probably my favorite. Easily the best one. It's easily like there. It's not even close. I think Rogue yeah. One was easily the best Disney one that. They now, made. I put it above Rebels here. Personally. Oh yeah. I would put um, it below. Like, actually, I put it below. I might put it there. Revenge of the it, Sith. Because I, I don't know. I want to give it credit where credits due. Because like I, again, like the big thing a lot I'm of people gonna, say I'm is that go it's here. a big, it's a big like. A lot of people said, oh, it's just like a plot hole cover. But like I don't know. I I thought for me, Rogue One, was so well done, to the point that like it's kind of like when I rewatch the series, I have to like watch Rogue One now. Well, and, and I think I like the fact that Revenge of the Sith and Rogue One are council members. They were both such good, like, bridging the gap movies. Like, like they're, they're like what really tied, like, the not-so-great prequels, but somehow, like, got it back on track to the point that, like, when you get back to A New Hope, the, yeah, everything's just kind of, like, the stakes are, like you said, the stakes are high again. It's like a lot of dramatic stuff happens from the beginning of Revenge of the Sith to the end of Rogue One. So yeah, no, and I, really I don't agree. know. I I loved the characters in Rogue One. I liked the idea that like there was no Jedi or anything. No, I really like that too. I think it was like more grounded and felt more yeah. like uh, actual war. Like you see like guerrilla warfare in it. You see, just. It just feels like act, like like actual yeah, war and stuff. Like the movie. final final battle is amazing, and then you cannot forget the fucking final Darth Vader scene, is yeah. amazing. So yeah, fucking so phenomenal. Movie, interesting. It's it, the Han Solo movie. This oh one I would put one of these two. I, I didn't would think it was bad. I would put it in night. No, I, no, I, I, I enjoyed it. Yeah, it was I good. would agree. I would agree. But I, it was I like it, I, it was mediocre, and yeah. for me, it was like, I even after watching it, I'm still like, why was this movie made? Like, like it felt like it was just like almost like it feels more like a cash grab than something like a story that needed yeah. to be told, if that makes it makes sense. It, it, yeah, for me, it was just like it was a very just like it was a fun movie to watch. It doesn't change too much about like kind of what you know about Han Solo, you know what I mean? Like it's, you learn like how he gets his name and how he meets Chewbacca's, which I mean like it's cool, but like it's a lot of stuff that like you don't really need to like fully grasp the character of Han Solo, right? Like because like when he's like, oh, I I'm a smuggler, I'm like, I yeah, I'm not sure how much more. You know what I mean? Like I'm not sure how much more you can expand on that. Like it's pretty straightforward, like backstory but it was good like i mean it was cool to see darth maul at the end yeah but um, like it was i don't know it just felt i don't know his name but i thought the guy that played han solo too do a pretty good job i think he because like i know he really studied the character so i don't know i felt like that was oh i agree it's little... just again i I, yeah. I still feel like why was this movie made and i watched it once and i'm like yeah. i'm probably Unless I do a complete rewatch with uh, like a future kid of mine or whatever, yeah. I'm probably not going to watch it again because it was just and it was it was like I'm not going to watch it again because it was bad. It was just mediocre. Like yeah, it was just a nice so... little side story kind of thing. Like it, yeah. Okay, so next up we have I think this is the movie The Clone Wars. Yeah, and then the next we'll, one is the series. Call that one. We'll call this one, so this is what I'm going to do. We're going to call this one the movie. Yeah. And this next one is the whole TV series. Because what I'm, I'm, I'm all, what I'm, the other thing I'm thinking is, like, this could be the, the Clone Wars series, and this is yeah. the, the final season. But to right. me, that makes no sense. Because, like, why would you have the, why would you separate the final season from the rest? Even though the final season did come out a few, like, how long was it? Like, right years later anyway um because they did have yeah, a clone wars to... movie no i thought that last one was maybe supposed to be the bad batch but that's not even the right no the bad batch is not on here so the okay. bad batch yeah. is not on here and uh the other star wars anime movie that's fine that's so, fine these are kind of like i haven't the... seen i haven't seen the anime star wars so yeah. and i haven't watched all of the bad batch either so yeah that's fine 
those two are uh, yeah. all right so let's start with the clone wars movie i i haven't i would probably that. put I it haven't... here it was oh, yeah it introduces ahsoka which was like the coolest thing about it. I, I guess ahsoka if the, yeah. if you're going just the movie itself ahsoka is pretty annoying it's the fucking next one that really redeems ahsoka yeah. here so just as right. a movie and as whole it's like it's i still i think it's better than episode two but not much better no it's right. it's pretty rough now well, let's look at the show then yeah i don't know i okay so the show itself i've heard good i things. would fucking put it here yeah i I've would legit put things. it here like the the first i think two seasons are okay but then it gets really good and by the end it is fucking phenomenal like it is right up there for one of the best animated like it's up there with like for me for uh, what would now be arcane avatar teen titans for best like animated show yeah. ever uh, would you put it above a new hope though too that's what i'm wondering i personally would which okay. like I, again a new hope is this high like i enjoy and stuff i just fucking absolutely love clone wars the like the 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 writing in it was so good the dialogue the characters the world building it fucking completely redeems the uh the, the, the prequels movie. and yeah. the clone wars it just enhances the star wars experience so much and for that reason i have to put it that high i no that's fair i'll give it i almost could put it above return of the jedi almost of with how much i enjoyed it i cannot justify this being higher than empire yeah. but i could almost justify it being higher than return of the jedi uh, but because you haven't seen it i won't do that i'll put it here uh um okay so this is where this is where things are gonna get slightly interesting because <laughs> there's some there are some stinkers coming up right or are you now. going to do the this is episode no this is episode oh, sorry, seven yeah. Nice. Episode seven, I would honestly put, I would put it at night, like right above Han Solo. That's just me. I thought it was just a very like back movie. Yeah, like, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't like phenomenal. Here's the thing. Maybe. Here's the thing. If the other two yeah. movies were great, this could be higher. Yes, it would be uh, higher. It wouldn't. I I could put it easily here, yeah. no problem. But because. We'll get, and we'll get into it. Yeah. Uh, the other two Star Wars movies, I could not rank yeah. it any higher than that. I, I would could, agree with that. I could, I mean, like, I could put, like, low end map solid, but, like, it's just, it's. Really I would not put it in Master. I can, for me, that I've seen yeah. Star Wars Rebels, I could not put these two in the same. Yeah. I could not. I think cool. Rebels is better than right. that. Yeah, no, again, Episode 7, like, yeah, like I said, obviously they, they, a lot of people said it was a lot like a new hope but i remember jj abrams saying he specifically did that because he knew that you need some familiarity at the beginning to get people into the new like star wars trilogy so in that way it was smart but that's why again it's kind of just middle of the pack because it starts off on a pretty good note but not very like original but it has no payoff yeah but then yeah and then as we get into the other ones yeah it just okay so this is i know we've had a lot of talks about this i'm gonna try and avoid going on all over rant yeah about this movie <laughs> yeah. but i fucking like so this this movie is split between often people who fucking love them people who fucking hated it now when i went to see this movie the friends i went to see it all loved it really but i really? hated it I despise this movie. I went, when they're talking how much they loved it, I was thinking to myself, did we watch the same fucking movie? <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Because I'm like, yeah. this movie, I just left the theater with so much. I don't even know. I was angry. I was angry. So hate in your soul. I was so angry that, like, this has to be yeah, down here. It was. It was. I it, don't even remember the movie. This That's movie. Me. I don't even remember. Destroyed my it love of Star Wars. If it wasn't. It, the only thing that really saved it, which we'll get into, is the next one here, The Mandalorian and The Clone Wars. Yeah. Uh, saved it. Yeah. And then. Did Rogue One come out of it? Come out after? No, it was before, right? No, no, no. It. Uh... 
It would have been no, it would have been before. Yeah, because like episode seven came out, and yeah, then it was Rogue One. They alternate. Yeah, they alternate. Whereas like seven Rogue One, eight Han Solo, and then right the next abomination but i'm not right there. right yeah i'm not there yet <laughs> but uh yeah this one destroyed my love of star wars to the point that i didn't even watch uh i didn't watch han solo in theater and i didn't watch uh star wars episode nine in theater uh i watched them after long yeah. after uh yeah. <laughs> but like it was the first star wars it's, movies that like were released when i was alive that i didn't go see in theater yeah like no, it again, destroyed like, it the best way i can put it just to keep it simple is that it's it's the most forgettable star wars movie ever like i don't even remember the stuff that happened oh this movie to me is not forgettable but for the wrong reasons no that's for how yeah, fucking like, this is why like even though we could actually you know what because because episode nine here where these intertwine i would rank this one worse than this one and know. this and the reason for me ranking this worse is this killed my love for this franchise my like this because of this movie my love for star wars will never be the same again like it's i i, 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 I like like here here here's here's the thing i I've, I i'm enjoying star wars now again but my love for it has never is never going to be replaced because of this movie I'm I'm gonna tell you right now. I think it's a dead tie. Yeah. One's better than the other at all. One. Episode nine for me was just so. Oh, it was like, I I remember when the trailer came out and they teased that Palpatine was back, and I'm like, this is gonna be dumb. And then I watched the movie. I was like, yeah. I watched the trailer. Crazy. Yeah, with my this roommate. Isn't exactly stupid as I thought it was gonna be. Like yeah. li like literally, I went in with, and then. Dude, I watched the fucking trailer. Went, with my fucking roommate and he was so excited that uh that palpatine was back and i remember hearing that i'm like this fucking ruins the skywalker saga yes it's this ruins the other six movies have bringing palpatine back i'm like that is and clearly i don't think that that was the original plan the original plan was to have snoke be oh, at the end whole, i think well, but then because of the right? fucking previous movie and doing a twist yeah. like a game of thrones season eight twist that they're just like we're just gonna fucking throw a plot twist at you because you don't fucking expect it and it doesn't but it makes absolutely no sense story-wise yeah uh just kills it that's yeah, not how you do a fucking plot twist it has to serve the fucking plot we're like just... fucking look at empire strikes back or episode three for yeah. fucking good plot twists that make fucking sense to the story uh it's it's just it was just one of those things where like uh, i can't even i don't know like i like it just it let like i eight left me very like disappointed like I, I i wasn't angry at that point but episode nine i remember pretty infuriated in the theater the entire time i was watching that movie because like just so many things were happening that i was like this is really dumb the biggest things for me was like there's just continuity things that like they just decided to just do and it didn't make sense like the, the biggest one for me was the opening scene where the millennium falcons just like hyper driving through planets and i'm like for like years they said you can't do that because like you'll definitely like hit something and blow up and i had a buddy that was like oh well like it's developed over time like but they have not shown that development at all so for them nope. to just come out and decide in the last episode to just introduce this i'm like it's actually like i'm like you can't be introducing new concepts in the final chapter of a movie you know what i mean like you can't do that and so then they're doing that and then the whole and actually i'll just share this so if you want to go home and like watch this later if you watch the end and i, and I remember i told nick this is the story i told nick this too and he thought it was pretty funny i was in the theater and if you i was watching that final like battleship scene and guys, I'm gonna be completely honest. Right from the get-go, I'm like, Disney copy and paste this from from Endgame. And and I'm gonna tell you right now, you're gonna go home now and you perfectly. I don't want to get into like the exact specifics because now that I've told you that, like, there's no way that you're gonna be able. Because like you watch the cut for cut and it's basically the exact same thing. And I was like, wow, okay, cool. So that's really sad. And then Ray being like, I'm Ray Skywalker. So, oh, it's great because she was his padawan and i was like no that's stupid because a whole i like the whole idea that ray was just some orphan that like learns 
You know what I mean? Like, it's kind of like the same thing with Harry Potter, right? Like, he had parents, but I like the idea that it was just, it was about him learning to become this, like, powerful being on his own and figure out his own story. You but know what? This like whole rant, I gotta do this. I gotta do yeah. that. <laughs> and I think that's right, yeah. So, I, I don't know. The way that I saw it is that, like, the idea that it was just Rey on her own journey. And then when they were like, oh, Rey Skywalker, I'm like, so cool so now she's just taking the name and it kind of i don't know yeah for me it just took away from her story i can't really explain it but yeah it just i remember i was very yeah, i also did not have time. an issue with her being uh uh like not not a nobody i guess like yeah not having like not being like obi-wan's daughter or uh, uh right uh, like uh like ben solo's sister or yeah. whatever else uh I, I didn't mind that, but how they fucking yeah. handled it was horrendous. Yeah. And then they fucking turned... I almost want to put this movie down here now that I'm thinking about it. Because the thing is, like, they made this like... movie This movie made Finn seem so cool. You know, bringing the lightsaber out and stuff like that. And they turned him to a complete fucking joke in these well, two. And, 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 and then... And no, I'm not done. I'm not done. I, I'm going on my rant right now. I got me on my, my fucking rant. I'm not going to go f fully, though. But the other fucking thing about this is if you're going to have fucking Kylo Ren be, like, a big bad, which, I mean, I guess Palpatine. That's yeah. why they had to introduce Palpatine. It's because fucking Kylo Ren lost to fucking Rey, who has not had no lightsaber training whatsoever yeah. in this movie. Yeah. When Ben Solo is supposed to be a fucking Skywalker. He's one of the most yeah. powerful, like... Yeah. Jedi lines from, of yeah, all exactly. in history, and he's been trained since like of being a child by fucking Luke Skywalker himself, the most powerful Jedi of all time. And he fucking loses to this girl that fucking has no training whatsoever, which yeah. I think is so dumb. And then me complaining about that and hearing people saying, "Well, you're fucking uh, sexist for thinking that." Just me alone makes me want to fucking lower it here for that reason because I'm like. Okay, I have plenty of female characters that I think are sick. It's the fucking writing that's bad. And it's not, uh, what's the actress that plays Ray again? What's her name? Oh, Daisy Ridley. Daisy Ridley is a great actress. No issues with her. Yeah. It's the fucking writing of her character. Yeah. And again, I have no issues with the main character being a female Jedi. None of that. It's the fucking just literally Mary Sue yeah like she can fucking from that like from you know what I I'm my vote is I'm putting this in pad one yeah. uh, we can discuss uh, if you really want to put it back in night after um, but just her Honestly, fucking there's, just there's beating Ben thing. Solo in that movie uh, fucking uh, then um, just that to um, her apparently being a better fucking pilot and knowing more about the Millennium Falcon than fucking Han Solo himself and all that shit. It's like, she's just better. So she's better pilot than Han Solo, better at fixing stuff than Han Solo, better co-pilot than Chewbacca, fucking better uh, Jedi than Luke Skywalker. She's better at everything, apparently, than everyone else. So yeah. it that's literally the definition of a Mary Sue. Like, you do, like tell me, like she doesn't have any like distinct personality traits or weaknesses and relatability which is yeah. what's important in a character this is coming from yeah. someone i'm a dungeon master in dungeons and dragons actually uh, josh here is one of my players in it and i like to think i've written decent characters for D D. i like yeah. to think at least right like one of the the, the most important npc characters is a female in my world yeah. Uh, that, that I have for D and D, uh, and so again, it's nothing about issues with the the, the females itself. Uh, and then I'm also uh, writing my own uh, book series as well. And then on like just so just coming from the writing perspective, I literally have to put this in pad one again. If yeah. there is, if the, like the things in this. Uh, were built better in the next two movies this would be higher like if they fucking did the plot where Kylo Ren or Ben Solo then becomes good and Rey becomes evil that could actually make this movie better because then Rey could I, seem like a threat yeah I had some interesting thoughts because I thought for sure I was 
I was under the impression with other friends after seven, I was like, are they gonna pursue this storyline of true balance in the force? Because I, me and my friend agreed that true balance, I think in the Star Wars universe is knowing how to balance between using both the light and the dark side of the force. Because like the thing is like the dark side of the force Early, like evil it's just that the sith uses it for bad reasons but they've said that that's basically kind of like what gray jedi or whatever they're called do is that they've learned that like there's kind of like a balance between the two and so when they had this trilogy and like they talked about how like oh yeah it's about drink bringing like true force like sorry true balance to the force i was like oh are they actually going to explore the idea that like ray and kylo find this like kind of like new um revelation of oh yeah we actually don't need to like eliminate one another we simply need to find the balance of the two ex like coexisting but yeah unfortunately it was a trilogy like all of that if that just it was either going to live together like succeed as a group or it was going to die as a group and unfortunately because the other big thing too is is it got passed around between too many directors and writers and stuff that like the story started going one way then went another way and then yeah it's it's just too messy it got way out of hand it was a nightmare yeah on to better things though I'm mandalorian this is going to be a tough one for any rate because it's going to be one of two spots now i'm debating which one uh yeah. i i think this is here i Absolutely. honestly think yeah. this is here because Absolutely. I think season two, I watched this with my uh, yeah. uh, roommate, and oh, just the amount of hype we had for season two was awesome. Yeah. Seeing Ahsoka from the Clone Wars was awesome. Um, see, like hearing Grand Admiral Thrawn mentioned was so cool. Yeah. Um, seeing Boba Fett was fucking awesome. You know, uh, seeing the fucking, yeah. uh, what were those troopers called again? I'm having a brain fart. They're not death troopers, right? They were Sith oh, troopers I know what you're talking or whatever. About. Yeah, something like that. I know what you're talking about. Like the Those Olympic were ones. fucking cool design. Then, of course, seeing Luke at the end. And, yeah. Oh, dude, just, yeah. It was the, for me, it was the bounty hunter backstory that, like, they really needed. Also, I, I also want to give credit to like John Favreau who directed it for basically like redeeming people's faith in the Disney Star Wars stuff because again like Seven and Rogue One came out and people were like oh this is like pretty decent and then after that it went on a tailspin and I feel like because of John Favreau obviously the crew and even the guy that does the music a lot of people have given him credit like they've definitely single-handedly like saved Disney from complete from like just like a complete waste of time with Star Wars, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like they, they it just, restored yeah, John, my uh, yeah. my faith in Star Wars because I actually I did not give yeah. Mandalorian a shot until I think it was halfway in season one when I finally I was hearing good things about it and I just find and then yeah. one of my uh, one of a YouTuber I watch who did like a mid season review said it was really good and then one of my yeah. buddies who I really get a lot of movie and TV show recommendations from. Because uh, we have very like-minded uh, yeah. interests in that, uh, said it was really good. So I finally bit the and bullet, and then I watched it, it here with my uh, roommates, and it was great. So. Yeah, I know we talked about it a little bit, but I remember, yeah, you were on the fence because I think, yeah, it came up, and I, I had even said, I'm like, you should definitely watch it, but I, I remember you were still leery because you're like, I don't know. Oh no, this was I, I watched season one by the time I, I started to work with you. What am I thinking then? I don't know. It, it must have been something different, but yeah. I think it was, it was Han Solo. I, I was hesitant oh, to watch Han Solo. Solo. Right. But then you and my yeah. buddy, my my other buddy that I also get movie recommendations said it wasn't bad. Uh, and then was, you were saying it was, saying it was like, you are saying it was good, so I finally, I finally bit the bullet and I, I watched yeah. Solo. Uh, well, the funny thing is, like, I kind of like that Han Solo is like... It because that's exactly where I would, like, I don't know, it just, it, it makes perfect sense that it's just middle of the pack. But, no, anyways, back to The Mandalorian, yeah, it was just, so many things went right with it. Um, and, yeah, like I said, I think John Favreau, he's literally a genius, because, like, he's the guy that made the first Iron Man movie. Made that phenomenal, and then mm -hmm. 
now he's like done Star Wars correctly for Disney. I'm like, is this guy just like that good at like knowing what like just movie nerds want to see? Because like again, yeah, he he figured out the formula, and I also like that it was I, I like the style of space western. Like I like again, it I think it was the same reason that I liked Rogue One is that it was fresh characters completely detached outside of like you said luke skywalker but i like that it was yeah it was just fresh characters and like a detached story oh no i agree from, like, i just like seeing the skywalker uh, sega. i like seeing the um what yeah. do you call it like the easter not easter eggs but the the pop-ups of the all those characters yeah exactly like it was a it, it was a good balance between you know having those tie-ins it was the first time that we saw like a, a series that was in the star wars universe that wasn't so blatantly obviously mm -hmm. in the star wars universe but yeah, no, I I have nothing but like good things to say about the Mandalorian. Yeah, it was it was great. Yeah. But okay, so the final movie we're gonna we're not gonna rank this one again because we don't I don't I know what it never is. Never seen it. I I don't know what that one is. Uh, but uh, we're gonna do this and then we are done. Phantom of the Menace. So oh Phantom of the Menace. I would put because I actually did enjoy this. I can actually rewatch this movie for one. Yeah, that's true. Normally, that's true. normally, like like when I uh, was it not last year, but the, I think it was the beginning of twenty twenty or late twenty nineteen. One of those, I watched uh, this. I did a rewatch of all the Star Wars movies. I yeah. skipped number two, I and I didn't. And this is not. I didn't even watch yeah. the sequels, but so I skipped number two. I watched literally every other one. So that alone, yeah. I think, I would put this here. Yeah, I could again, not again. I can't justify this being on the same as Rebels. No, uh, but I could. I could put it there. No, I put it with Solo simply because, like, again, it was a very middle of the pack movie. It wasn't. It didn't like add a whole lot, but it also, yeah, it didn't take away from. I had a really sick lightsaber fight at the end. Oh yeah, absolutely, and like again, it it had some good. Like again, it was kind of like Han Solo. Where like origin story easter eggs about like how they meet anakin and stuff like that where you're again it wasn't like necessary but it's kind of like a cool little like oh that's nice um i thought i don't know i actually thought the space pod race was like kind of fun like it was I, again it was kind of cool for world building perspective that like they weren't just focused on jedi versus sith mm -hmm. um yeah so yeah and and again it's it's one of those movies though i will say that like because i i find the political side of star wars interesting that's where i would put it Some i people agree put it lower because they find it's it's boring but again if you're i've always told people I'm like if you're like looking to get into like the tales yeah phantom menace is actually not that bad it's actually pretty good but yeah if you don't care about like the whole like backstory of the like political side of star wars then yeah i wouldn't recommend watching phantom menace mm -hmm. yeah i i i i, I agree <laughs> I agree with that. So I'm pretty happy with where yeah, things are. I'm pretty good. Uh, the only thing, yeah. again, is like I could almost, I I would probably put this here, but because you haven't seen it, that's uh, tough. I would put this below. Uh, so I, I I'm willing to compromise with that. Um, like, I can I can, I don't want to tell you spoilers. You have to fucking watch Clone Wars. Yeah. Uh, this is Clone Wars is really good, and really dark, really mature themes. Uh, yeah. and I'm, I'm a big fan of that stuff. So, all right. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's, that's, the, yeah, that's the best way to put it. It's a good tier list. I think everything kind of landed correctly. Honestly, like, yeah, I, I don't see something that's like out of place right now. Yep. I, I just, I added, just like that we had this here yeah. and then we fucking like that. <laughs> well, yeah, like, After the was, rant about these two. <laughs> even when we added the Phantom Menace, I did have to yeah you know what like again it's it's not that yeah again it's not that it was bad it just unfortunately because it didn't get to go anywhere it just yeah it got dropped it, it would have been the same thing with a new hope for, right like if if a new hope i'd watch it, it was like wow that was cool and then like five and six for some reason just like completely spun out yeah i'd be like yeah those unfortunately a new hope kind of has to like go lower because it literally yeah it wouldn't be like in grandmaster like this movie yeah. still could would, would be lowest here right because so i'm curious to be like all right I'm where gonna... people put these all right, all right let's see let's see what the like average is. transition 
Here, give me a sec. I'll do a trans. So Oof. now that we now that we picked our own rankings, we're gonna kind of put it up against the community's ranking. I guess. How the fuck? Like, wow, this is. This is. N I don't like this at all. Is it the idea that like maybe they just didn't want to use the two bottom tiers? Because I'm a little shocked right now. It has to I'm be it. Like I don't see. Yeah. Again, this movie is very split. Some there's a lot of people that still fucking love the, like uh, uh, that's fucking love. Uh, uh, what's this one called again? The Rise of Scar? No, was it? Yeah. Uh, oh my god! I don't even. I fucking like that's how for. Not for oh, Google. it's the last. It's the, the last, last Jedi. Jedi. Jesus. The, the last Jedi. Yep, yeah. 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 I'm having a brain for it. There's like so many people that fucking like that movie for some reason that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm assuming like, it was like, like but was this the bottom two, and I'm not sure why. That's that has to be it. I mean, this is shit tier. Uh, so it seems like most people thought that this was a Star Wars Clone Wars movie, just like I did. So I'm glad to see yeah. that. Uh, I'm the a one fucking thing the the Sith above. We'll, 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 get to, we'll get to we'll get to that. I want us to talk about Star Wars Rebels being this low. How how. How is Star Wars Rebels ranked lower than Solo and Episode Two? How? Yeah, I I haven't. Episode seen Two it, should not like even be this high. It should not two be should this. Even be above Han Solo, like that's thing. Yeah, like Episode no. Two should be like way, way down. That sh like I like like even if we're removing the bottom two ones and just putting these ones, like Solo Episode Two, even Episode One and. Episode uh, seven here should like Rebel should be higher. Great Admiral Thrawn and stuff. I just think, uh, whoops, yeah, I uh, agree. that deserves there. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the Mandalorian. I can kind of see it. Revenge of the Sith being where it is. Again, I just I rewatched know. it with the dia the dialogue and memes and stuff made me put it back. It's just like it's the same reason for me. I couldn't put like a sequel above iron man if that makes sense like i don't know like it's just like it, if it's the first one of a series it's hard to kind of beat that original it grab, is unless it was bad so i yeah i don't know that's the way that i could see it. like i have no complaints about return of the jedi being lower than a new hope i can see that i just personally enjoyed return of the jedi yeah. more and i like and as a ch child too uh return of the jedi really resonated yeah. with and I feel like uh, the Mandalorian and Clone Wars are like, kind of like close enough in terms of quality that like I could see both like how they could be flipped. Yeah, like they're both. It's it's a pretty tight race between those two, so it kind of makes sense that it, it could be. I also I would say flipped. I think Clone Wars is better, uh, yeah. personally, but I think both are great. And I think the biggest reason why Mandalorian is higher is because it had a bigger audience because yeah. it's live action. Um, um, and then Rogue One, it still kind of fell in the same place. Honestly, Again, like, yeah, I, I don't mean, see it being a grandmaster ranking, but for some fucking reason, they I guess eliminated the bottom two. I don't understand yeah. that, but yeah, that's a little surprising. Uh, I think this, it's... there's some stupid people in the Star Wars fandom. <laughs> I'm, just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. You have, like, uh, what am I thinking? You, you have to be conservative, right? You can't just throw everything in grandmaster. Like that's like you know what I mean? Like no. And then, yeah, I don't know how, yeah, I don't know what the rest of the tier list is, quite honestly. This is a weird, anyway. Because, like, we only we only had one or two in council member, even, still. And we then everything else should just drop. two, I think. Right. So. Yeah, we had two. Right. And so, like, I don't understand how they had so many bump up, but. Again, it's what the community wants, I guess. Uh, well, that's the community. We had our well, take, they had theirs. That's why I have to remember sometimes, right? Is that again, I, just being a movie person, there's like a lot of or new that I'll see that I'm like, oh, that's not great. But then sometimes general viewers just like don't they don't think about some of that stuff, right? Like, again, like, well, I think media, I'll think about it. Yeah, because one, I think me and you have different perspectives. Because yeah. uh, while well, you're in the not the film industry, but you're in the you're like very seasoned with yeah. editing. You're big into the cinematography and other stuff like that. Yeah. I mean, I enjoy stuff like that too. 
I uh, probably don't spot as yeah. many things about that as you, but I probably I, I'd say I spot more than the average viewer in terms of that. Yeah. But what really like gets me is the writing because I'm more of I, I'm more of the writer, the world building, the right like the characters, the the plot yeah. set in, uh, like all the all all that stuff yeah. is what is what yeah, I like, really pay similar, attention to. I'd say yeah, I'd say we're similar when it comes to like character stuff because like that I will notice that, but like world building like i am like yes it's important but it, no i'd say like you're still more into like i need to see like an i need to see world building that like explores the beyond kind of thing we're like sometimes yeah or just maybe it doesn't even have to be that it yeah. makes the world believable yeah exactly and it doesn't have to be realistic it just has to make it believable well believable there's a, a huge immersive, there's a right? huge yeah, believable and immersive. It doesn't have to be realistic. There's like often people when I, when when critic critics and stuff will say it has to be like believable or wasn't immersive enough. They think well that like it has to be realistic. That's not entirely true. It doesn't have to be realistic. Yeah. Has to. It just has to make sense and be able to immerse you in this world and yeah. have continuity. Continuity. Yeah. Is well, the remember... biggest thing. My buddy, that was his biggest thing with like episode eight, is that there was a couple things in like just in terms of just like laws of like physics or science or however like just Star Wars science kind of thing that he was like, that does not line up with what they've you know what I mean? Like just like that those like little things of like, well that doesn't make sense with like kind of like the laws of whatever it is, you know what I mean? Like Yeah. It was like my whole thing with the hyperdrive, right? Like it was just like they kind of had set rules for hyperdrive in this world, and then they just randomly changed it. It it does throw you out of it, yeah. Oh, the point of like having the rules that they're just gonna break them and not really, yeah. So, anyways, uh, interesting tier list from the community. Uh, yeah, that was a hot take yeah. uh, from the community. I'll say. <laughs> They're 100 percent wrong, and Lars is 100 percent right, uh, and that's it. No, of course not. Uh, everyone has. Always... Everyone's subjected to their own opinion. You know, we're fucking yeah. living a free world. You know, at the end of the day, if you fucking love, you know what? If you love this movie, you do you. If that's where you fucking yeah. put that, you do you. Yeah. This is this is my list. This is where I think, um, as long as you're not hurt anyone else, you yeah. can enjoy any of these movies as much as you want. Well, um, and. So and the funny thing I is, I've seen memes before, and at some point we'll do like a Lord of the Rings tier list, but like the funny thing is, is that I've seen memes where they joke about how like Star Wars fan base is always split. Like it's always like there's always like people like debating and arguing. So many. So right. like we had one great trilogy and we're all happy with it. <laughs> like. They're just very like we all agree great movies we're like star wars fans it's it's like religion they're just like all over the map just everybody's got their own like thoughts and well, i think it's pretty unanimous that people think empire is the best yeah i think it's pretty but that's unanimous like about the one thing. but then that's like literally the one thing <laughs> every that everything else is subjected like people think revenge of the sith is yeah. like way fucking down here uh you know it's like yeah. some uh uh, the fucking Clone Wars is like was shit, or fucking you know what yeah. Return of the Jedi was shit, like whatever. Yeah. Anyways, that's it. Really? 